Welcome to another film study episode, and today I want to talk about Jedrick Wills. Uh, but first, I do want to say something really quickly. Uh, Merry Christmas. I know this is coming the day after Christmas, or the two days after Christmas, but nonetheless, Merry Christmas. Uh, holidays, you know, sometimes it messes up the schedule. We're going to try to get all film study episodes on Friday, but here's the one that we're going to do today, and this is about Jedrick Wills, a, a guy that has so much upside and has kind of had an up and down season. Uh, he's an excellent pass protector. He's been one of the best in the NFL, not just among rookies, but he's just really struggled as a run blocker, and I want to break down some tape as to why that is and kind of looking at his performance and just offering my opinion on him. And so let's analyze some film. So evaluating the Giants game, you can just see the raw athleticism and footwork speed that he has that really helps him in pass protection, coupled with his raw strength. Here he's going up against linebacker David Mayo, who he had an off-the-charts day against. He's going to go kick back in his vertical pass set, which means he's essentially just going to kick back uh, just a couple steps backward. Instead, so there's different pass sets that you can use. One is the 45 degree, where you jump up to the edge rusher and just cut him off before he can do anything, or you can kick back. And there's a couple different variants, but those are really the two main uh, options, really. But here he's going to vertical, uh, he's going to go into a vertical pass set. And it's very tricky because there's a lot of different things that can go wrong. You can get bull rushed very easily because you have your back to the quarterback and your feet can be stagnant and you don't want bad footwork. That is the last thing you want in a vertical pass set because you have your back to the quarterback. And and so anyway, getting back onto the Jedrick Wills pass protection rap, rep, here he has excellent inside hand placement, very calm and collected, and places it right inside David Mayo to neutralize any potential bull rush by getting his hands on first, but not in a way where he oversets. And it's just a really good rep. It keeps the left side of the pocket completely free so Baker can go ahead and go through his progressions and make a great throw. Here's another great rep from Jedrick in pass protection. Uh, on this play, he's going to get into his kick slide in his vertical pass set, He's going to drop back, and number 91 of the Giants is going to try to beat him with a speed rush. He's going to try to get around Jedrick. So what Jedrick does is he beats him to it with his elite, his elite footwork and just gets his foot out there, gets his feet out there, so number 91 is forced to bend his rush even farther away than he was hoping to. And then what number 91 does, in order to compensate for this, try to make up more ground, he sticks his inside hand in to try to push Jedrick Wills so he doesn't have to bend it as much. But what Jedrick does, using great technique, is he slashes that inner hand down uh, to effectively give number 91 no leverage, and then he just shoves him to the turf because there's nothing number 91 can do. It's he just would have to work against physics. And it just shows you how a guy can have great technique and couple that with elite footwork, elite athleticism, just how dominant a tackle can be, and that's what Jedrick Wills has been doing in pass protection. So you may have noticed I had a little bit of an incline when I said pass protection, and that's because he's been pretty bad as a run blocker. He's shown some promise, but overall it's been very atrocious. Uh, there's really just no other way to put it. Uh, here the rounds are going to run an outside zone, and Jedrick Wills just doesn't have the type of finish uh, that you would like to see when you know you, you're making such a crucial block for the run to succeed. He's gonna be put. He's gonna match up on Dexter Lawrence, who's one of the best, one of the best young defensive linemen in the NFL. But something that Jedrick Wills, uh, someone that Jedrick Wills should be able to handle, and he just doesn't. He struggles to move his feet and finish blocks, and that's been a consistent theme for him is being able to really keep his feet churning and drive guys uh, past just the line of scrimmage, and here Nick Chubb gets stuffed because Jedrick Wills just is not able to push Dexter Lawrence enough away for Nick Chubb to run through, which causes the no gain. And again, this Browns rushing attack is harmed by Jedrick Wills' inability to block effectively at the second level because he just can't keep his feet moving. I mean, he trips in confined spaces, and I get that people do that sometimes, but he struggles to stay on balance, and here's a perfect example. The Browns are going to try to toss it to Chubb, and Jedrick Wills has an assignment. This is a man-blocking type of play because it is a toss play, 
And so Chubb, all Wills has to do is go up and block the seventh round rookie, Tay Crowder. But because, again, of that inability to keep his feet moving, you see they're very pattered and just not, they're not fluid like you see uh, his feet in pass protection. He just struggles to keep them moving in confined spaces and he just misses, he whiffs on the block on Tay Crowder and that's a loss. And then just this one last run blocking rep I want to show is this play the Browns are going to run inside zone. It's not a long breakdown because it just highlights uh, Jedrick Will's kind of uh, non mauler mentality. It's something that he had in Alabama that he was really known for uh, was just being a mauler in the run game, really just throwing around guys. And he just doesn't, it hasn't really translated yet in the NFL uh, with the run blocking. Here he's going up against a Giants linebacker and he gets his hands on the linebacker, but just cannot finish that block. He doesn't push him. He he just he struggles with moving guys past the second level just due, due to a lack of power that he had in Alabama but just hasn't translated yet to the NFL. Now, kind of flipping the switch back to his pass protection, uh, Jedrick Wills does have a weakness in that field. Uh, he's very susceptible to uh, counter moves against pass rushers. So, for example, here on this play, number 91 is going to look like he's going to speed rush, try to do that speed rush again, that where he failed, uh, where Jedrick Wills had won that rep that we showed earlier. But here he's actually going to flip it inside, uh, and Jedrick Wills misses his punch. You can see him miss his punch because he, he's anticipating that rush. And he does sometimes fail to adapt to a rusher using a counter move that he wasn't expecting. Here, the rusher cuts inside, he fakes like he's going to go outside, but actually cuts to the right side, the inner side of Jedrick, and tries to penetrate the pocket that way. Thankfully, Jedrick Wills does have quick feet and pass protection, which does make up for his blunder, and ultimately that doesn't result in a quarterback hit or a quarterback sack. But again, that will cost him against good pass rushers that can effectively use counter pass rush moves instead of a guy like Jabal Sheard. Jidrick Wills has definitely had an up and down season. He's had moments of really great pass protection. He's even shown ability to maul guys in the run game. But he's also had terrible moments where he just re kind of looks lost, really, in that zone-blocking scheme. And hopefully, you know, with a couple of years, uh, Jedrick Wills, because he does have the athleticism to become a top left tackle, all-pro tackle, in the NFL, right now, he sits behind guys like Makai Becton and Tristan Wirfs in his draft class just because he has not lived up to the number a 10 top 10 draft pick quite yet. I do think, though, that Jedrick Wills has an extremely prom promising future. He has the tools athletically. He is one of the best coaches, offensive line coaches, in the NFL in Bill Callahan. And he has a scheme that can perfectly fit him due to his athleticism. And if he can transfer that quick feat that he shows in pass protection to his run blocking, he can be a force to be reckoned with for years to come.